disappeared. We'll take an unplanned spacewalk tomorrow to try to save the disabled multi-million dollar communication satellite launched from Discovery on Saturday. It's hoped they'll be able to attach what's called a fly swat to the shuttle's robot arm, which could trip a switch and activate the satellite's own electrical system and booster rocket. Though launching the satellite last Saturday went perfectly, the rocket that would then have blasted it into the correct position never fired. As astronauts on the ground have shown, there's a small lever on the side which, if tweaked, should fire the rocket. But as it spins on uselessly above Earth, there's another problem. If an astronaut were to spacewalk out of the shuttle and try to start it manually, the rocket should not then fire for 45 minutes. But as it failed the first time, it might fire instantly, threatening the life of the spacewalker. So on the ground with a mock satellite, NASA has been testing other possibilities and from materials lying around on board the shuttle have devised a sort of fly swat that would be fixed onto the robot arm and in the words of the flight director. And then as the little lever comes around, it'll get caught in one of these devices, one of these holes. 85 million pounds worth of satellite might then be saved by a cut out tuppenny plastic cover from a flight manual. Whilst the first senator in space illustrates the effects of weightlessness on paper darts and toy jumping mice, this rescue is fraught with difficulty and some danger. Unlike their successful predecessors, this mission has not been trained to rescue satellites and the tools with which they must now do it are totally makeshift. Listen to NASA's list. Flight data file, uh, plastic covers, a Swiss Army knife, gray and silver tape, a swizzle stick, uh, scissors, a bone saw, and a vacuum cleaner. John Snow, News at 10, Washington.